All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. So my night riders, before we start this video, I want to ask y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that dislike button, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment down below if you really like this video or if you got better ideas or if you have an idea on what I should do for my next video. I'm tuned in with y'all. Y'all tuned in with me. So, long story short, not everybody can own a firearm due to how America is. You get your felony from doing something that the law just tries to screw you over with because the system is against us. They only work for them. So, I'm with you, you with me. You know what I'm saying? So, this video is for the people who can't bear arms, which it is our God-given right to do so. So, I don't agree with just because you caught a felony off some stupid shit that they take that right from us. But, this video is for y'all. So, you can't own a firearm. What can you do to protect yourself against somebody trying to cause harm to you and your family when they enter your premises? Well, you can go ahead and you can grab you a, a katana of any sort. This right here, I can't tell you what, uh, what brand it is. I got it as a gift when I was younger, but it looks aerobic to me. Get the hell up out of here. All right, so we got this, and it's a nice poker. Might cause some damage if I try to slice you to pieces, but not as much as the next thing I'm about to show you. So this is one. Why did it do that? Next, back to it. All right, so this is one. Next thing. We got... I'm a machete. I'm sorry for all of this movement. The camera is trying its hardest to screw up our video. But this right here, this right here, slides you like a piece of butter. Whoever you trying to stop, take a look. Not even any real, not any, not any real type of, you know. Oh, I'm trying to get a grip. But slices you like scissors, you know what I'm saying? So you can get this from Walmart, you can get this from a yard sale, you can get this from damn near anywhere. Easy, legal to own, legal to have in your home, and everything else. Even self defense if you need if that's the case. So boom, that's number two, right? Number three, we got Excalibur. I decked it up a little bit. I added some chains on it. I felt like God of War. But you could also use chains. If you can't get anything else, you can get chains. You can smack somebody up with a chain. It's going to hurt. It will make them run away. If you hit them a lot of times or hard enough, one good whack with a, with a chain, make them run like they ain't got a brain. But this right here, yes, it's really Excalibur. I decked it out a little bit with a whole bunch of stuff to hold it better. I even got a little belt buckle on it so I could put my hand behind it. Bah! You know what I'm saying? So that's more stuff to add to it. And I just got it decked up because I hang it on the wall. I probably won't use it, but if push comes to shove and I do, everything on this thing might fall off, but it's going to whack them. It's going to whack them. Yeah. So that's number three, right? Right. So number three, sword, Excalibur. Katana, machete, sword. On to the third one. Baseball bat of any sort. This one right here is a wooden one. There's many things you can do to upgrade the intensity of this thing. You can add on some weights to it. Get the hell out of here, cuzzo. Always trying to send me shit randomly. But you can add on stuff to add weight to this when you need to whack a mole. You know what I'm saying? You got the wooden ones and you got metal ones, which I will show you after this. So this is number four, right? So you got a wooden bat, metal bat. Won't break on you, but you can break the other one over a dumbass's head. You know what I'm saying? Add some weights on the back of this right here. Make it easier to hit them hard as hell. 
Woo! Play home run on their head like a baseball. All right. So that's number what? Number five. All right. So after that, get you any piece of wood. You can put nails in this. You can add stuff on the end of this and tie it down. You can even tape it up. Get some duct tape. Put some rocks in here. Bow! They come to your door. You hit it. You catch them off guard and you whack them with this. They're going to lay it down. Or they might run away. All right? So what's that? It's number six, right? All right. So number six. Now we on to number seven. This, I think it's either a sickle or a scythe. I got this for $5 at a yard sale. I don't know where you can get it from, but if you can find one and it's in good condition, not, you know, it's not going to fall off, but it is going to, it's going to do its handy work to chop and chop, chop. So you go ahead and get you one of these here. I got it saying brother's keeper from, you know, if I don't want to, if I don't want to make no loud noise and I catch each one of them on some John Wick shit, hit them with this right here. Brother's keeper, because I am my brother's keeper and my sister's keeper, mother's keeper. My phone keep trying to stop, but we ain't gonna stop. Got this for five dollars, might I remind you? All right, so let's see four, five, six, seven. So that's seven right there, right? Hell, if you're a handyman, use a hammer. You could throw this, you could boom. Crack them with it one good time. Might knock them unconscious if you hit them hard enough. Or use the other side if you're really trying to be deadly with it. I don't promote violence, but I do promote self-defense. Defend yourself. Defend your family. Stay dangerous if that's the case that you need to need to be. If you need to defend your family, your kids, your wife, or yourself to stay alive, and somebody's trespassing on your terrain, you make sure you do what you can to get them up out of there. All right? All right. So, on top of that, you can't own guns. But they never said anything about brake barrel air rifles. They never said anything about air rifles. They never said anything about pellet guns, crossbows, bows. They never said it's illegal to own those. So, make sure you get you some of those. All right? So, now we're going on to the next one. This one's going to be a hard choice because I see a lovely bunch of beautiful ones that I'm looking at right now. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and go to the one that's closest. All right. Caliber 1.77 comes with a, I would say a bullet holder. You get you some of these, you get you a whole bunch of different types. They got ones for good penetration and then they got little balls. This one right here. Perfect for penetration. Good for hunting game. Good for getting somebody to lose their brain, especially if you get close enough. And you make sure you deck your shit out to the point where that shit's so scary that they know that as soon as you pull it out, you using it for whatever you need to use it for. I got a homemade bayonet right up top. You know what I'm saying? Right back. Homemade bayonet. Got a peace sign in there for some crosshairs. And then I got me this little thing right here that's for uh, my next thing that I got in the video coming up soon. I'll show y'all where it came from later on, but y'all stay tuned. Y'all know what I'm saying? Put that homemade bayonet piece right back on there. All right. So that's right there. Then I got this little thing right here. You can twist, turn, left and right. You know what I'm saying? And then it's brake barrel. You know what brake barrels mean? High power. And then on top of that, I got me a homemade sling on it too. So, that thing say three pair, because it's going to be a three pair when I three pair your ass back out that damn door if you break into my shit and try to hurt me or my family. I take care of two kids, I take care of two elderly people, and I take care of my mother and whoever else is in my household during the time. I could even add on a red dot sight, I could add on a laser sight to make it easier to hit your ass, or I could bayonet you and shoot you right up off my shit. So don't fuck around with it, please don't. Matter of fact, please do. But like I said, I don't promote violence, but I do promote self-defense. So if you got to, do what you got to do to stay alive and keep your family alive and safe. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now we're going to jump on to the next one. All right. This one's along the little weaker side right here. But it is a pellet rifle. So 
shoot them in the eye until you can get to something better. You know what I'm saying? God forbid they wearing glasses, but if they in your house, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and pull this jaw back. Load one up. Load one of them little BBs in there. Shoot them in the eye. Tackle them to the ground. Beat the living daylights out of them. Get whatever they got in their hands and use it against them. That's my recommendation for this. But I got this for about... I feel like I got robbed for it, but they told me to name the price, and I was just trying to be nice. $15, but you could probably pay 5 or Get back to it. All right. So, like I said, you could probably get this for 5 or 10 This is spring. This is uh, spring bloated. So that means one shot. You know what I'm saying? You'll be better off with a, uh, an electric, an AEG. So, let's get on to the next one. We got uh, CO2. CO2 right here. With this one right here, it's uh, two CO2 cartridges in the back. I paid about 100 and some change, maybe about 139 I think, 139.99. Well, you see, I had this uh, sight mark holographic. Turns out it didn't work, no matter how many different batteries I changed in for it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's just not meant to work for me. But it also comes with uh, flip-ups. One, on one for the front, and then you got flip-ups. But then, mounted me a, you know... I would say the N-word rig, but I ain't going to drop no N-bombs. I don't want it to seem cool. But on top of that, I got me a, a laser and a flashlight combo. So, you know what I'm saying? I use this to hold where that red dot going to go. And I might add me a homemade bayonet on top of this too. But that with this, or if I don't want to use that, like I said, it's a light combo, and it's a laser. So, you get you a good combination right there. Plus, it's a homemade sling on that. It's a hard hitter with that CO2. Way better than that spring-loaded. And then, we got another one coming up right now. Ugh, ugh. Ooh. All right. So, we got a crossbow. I paid about $45, $35 for this. Got this at a flea market. This was the last one they had, the only one they had. And then on top of that, oh, why they keep trying to stop us? They won't do it, though. All right, so this one, they call it Gino, so that's what I'm going to call it, too. And they got a date on there. I don't know anybody's specifics about it, but I know I like it and I love it, and it's a hard hitter. They never said it was illegal to own for felons. Then we got a whole bunch of bolts with my little homemade satchel right there. Got it tied onto the back of it. So you know I ain't got to go too far when I need to put another one back up in there and pull them things back. Get you with one of, hit you with Gino. You know what I'm saying? And then this ain't rope. This is metal. So it's going to hit you even harder. So like I said, I don't promote violence, but I do promote self-defense. Protect yourself and your loved ones if the time comes that you need to. All right. So that right there, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all right, twelve, all right. So on top of that, we got a few more. Boom, slingshot, and I don't got one, I got two. Always good to have, get you a whole bunch of rocks. Fling these joints, because you can't really miss with these joints unless you're just trying to miss. But, hey, it's always good to have. Keep you some stuff to protect yourself and your family, because you can always make use of something that can't nobody else think to use when the push comes to shove and you can't get, you don't got no other options. Some people might go with a kitchen knife. Some people might go with a slingshot. Some people might go with a CO2 air rifle. Some people might go with a brake barrel air rifle. Some people might use a firecracker for, for a, a distraction. But that's up to you. What you going to do when it comes to the time somebody kicking your door and try to rob your house and hold your family hostage and then scare you and rape your wife? Or worse, your daughter. Not me. It ain't happening to me, Jack. Next one coming up. We got a... Uh... All right, back to it. All right. We got us a nice little bayonet blade right here. Straight from the military. Boom. This right here, a buck knife. 
because I could stab you and pull it out and gut you at the same time. And I could sharpen my stuff with it. Right here, I got this as a gift. And I love this gift because I could also mount it as a bayonet blade. So, and I could also use it to climb up a damn mountain if I ever need to. Always good to have one. Make sure you get one. It's always good to have a knife. All right. So, like I said, if you ever been in jail, prison, you got to, come on, man. You ain't going to have your own homemade shank? Hey, it might need some work, but hell, put this in you and break it off in you. You got knife, you got glass all in your guts. As soon as you breathe, it hurts. Hit you in the right spot. You, you're going to wish you never came in that door. Plus, it's not illegal. Unless you're in jail or prison. Don't do it if you're in there. But, you know what I'm saying? Nice to have anything. All right. In addition yeah. to... Yes. Okay. All right. After my video. All right. So, locking a sock, rocking a sock, soap in a sock. I got all three. Crack you in your head with this, John. Be swinging these Johns like Durango. <laughs> so make sure you keep you some. You know what I'm saying? Because it's good to defend yourself. It's good to defend your loved ones. It's good to defend your family. Make sure you do that when the time comes. All right? So, last one for, last one for the show. We're going to go ahead, CO2 pistol. You know what I'm saying? Nice one. I plan on getting more in the future because I don't plan on buying a million guns. But I do plan on buying the cheapest, the cheapest fun opportunities. Let's get us right back up in there. The cheapest opportunities of the most realistic lookalikes is what I plan to buy in the future. Because I'm not going to spend no $1,300, $1,500 on that because you know i'm not rich maybe if i get rich i might do it but as far as right now mm -mm, nah fnx 45 i want one but they got the air right they got the air pistols coming along i'm gonna give me one of them instead why because i got me i got me some shit and those is way cheaper than the real thing and I'm going to use the real thing if I ever have to get to the point where I need to. But this right here, never had never had the real thing, but a P365. Beautiful. Looks like the real thing. Shoot him in the eyeball. Get you, get you something nice to go with. You know what I'm saying? I paid about $100 for it, $99 plus some tax. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? CO2 cartridge up in there. Fully loaded and doted. I do it like my real Jones. I turn it into a salad and I put it all in you if you if you make me. So if they don't know they if they don't know nothing about guns and then you put this up on them in the dark, you're gonna do the job. Plus you can add some mounts up in there. So there ain't no picatinny, but hell, so I'm gonna stick in there if you if you get it done up right. But like I said, I don't promote violence, but I do promote self-defense. So if the time comes that you ever need to defend yourself, please do it. Please protect yourself. Please protect your family. Because I understand that the system is here to work against us. They're not here to work with us. So stay dangerous. Stay safe. Protect yourself. Protect your loved ones. And be here to talk with me and talk with your family. Let's get us right back in there. Whenever the time comes. I love you all my night Riders. Like I said in the beginning of this video. I would love it. If you drop that subscribe for me. If you hit that like button. If you hit that dislike button. If you drop a comment. And if you hit that notification bell. I will love you forever. Regardless of whatever your choice may be. I'm not a hateful person. Alright my night Riders. Shout out to T Electric. Shout out to all my recent subscribers and shout out to all my recent viewers. I appreciate all that you've done for me and I plan on making more videos in the future. All right, y'all. Let's get on to this next uh, video in the nearby future. I'll see y'all. Stay armed. Stay dangerous. I got that from my man T Electric. All right. I love y'all. We out of here, Night Riders. Y'all ride through the night with me.